Up next on Comcast Newsmakers, a community health nonprofit is expanding. We'll tell you which cities are seeing new clinics coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we're in Olympia, the beautiful governor's mansion. And joining me right now, Ron Chu, who is Executive Director, International Community Health Services Foundation. Ron, thanks so much for coming on the program. My pleasure. It's great to have you here today at the governor's mansion. Tell us a little bit about the foundation. You all have an interesting history on how you got started. Yeah, well, International Community Health Services was founded in 1973 in Seattle as a small storefront clinic serving immigrants and refugees, mostly at the time in the Chinatown International District area. And it really evolved uh, over the years to serve uh, the growing Asian Pacific Islander uh, and immigrant community. And today we've got clinics in a number of different places uh, in Seattle and now expanding outside of Seattle as well. So much further from just the international district area, now you're all over Seattle. Right, that, uh, uh, the international district is still our uh, flagship sure. uh, location, but again, we're in a lot of different places now. And you just mentioned who you're serving, Asian Pacific Islanders? Right, you know, at the time that uh, the clinic opened, and still today, there are big issues uh, of access. Um, you know, uh, many of our um, population don't speak English, and as a result, they're not able to access the services that they need. And um, it began with several different languages in the beginning, and now, today, we um, uh, provide interpretation in over 50 different languages. Wow. Not simply Asian languages, but other uh, languages as well. Hmm. So, um, as you mentioned, you're all over Seattle now. You've grown quite a bit and evolved quite a bit since your, uh, since your beginning. Um, so, in being in Seattle, it sounds like um, not only have you grown, but you've seen your numbers grow, the people who are accessing the services at the different clinics, and um, a lot of that you saw that increase during the recession years of 2008 and even leading up into 2014? Right, you know, um, again, the growth of uh, ICHS has mirrored kind of the growth of our immigrant refugee population. You know, we're now in an era of the Affordable Care Act where we've seen the expansion of Medicaid and services uh, that are really reaching populations that didn't have access to health care before. We serve as the uh, primary um, safety net, uh, providing primary care to these um, constituents. And, um, you know, it's uh, been a rewarding journey. We, you know, serve uh, folks who often, uh, again, don't have the income and the language capability to access the system. And so we provide that, that kind of network of services. And tell us where your new clinics are located. Well, we like to look at this era of the Affordable Care Act as kind of a new era of ICHS as well, Sabrina. So uh, we are um, opening a new clinic this month uh, in Shoreline. It'll be the first nonprofit community clinic in Shoreline's history. Wow. Uh, so big milestone there. Um, and several months ago, we also opened a small clinic uh, over in Bellevue because there's a large um, uh, immigrant population as well over on the east side. Um, near the crossroads area. So again, our growth is mirroring sort of the growth of our population in many, many different places. Great, we are almost out of time. Any final thoughts? Well, uh, you know, we're open to um, anybody. Uh, we're a federally qualified health center, so we don't turn anybody away. Uh, and so we invite you to come visit and um, utilize our services. Maybe check out the, the new clinic in Shoreline or the new one in Bellevue. That is quite a milestone for the one in Shoreline. It is, right. it is. Well, fantastic. Well, thanks so much, Ron, for coming on the program. It's a pleasure to talk to you about International Community Health Services Foundation. Thank you, Sabrina. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll have headline news coming up at the top and bottom of the hour.